I'm here inside this wreck of the ship that you see at the beginning of the Father Ted series. Every program starts off showing this boat that has been washed up on the shore. It seems uh, an analogy for the church at the moment. Uh, farcical in a way, but pretty serious. And yet as I approach any one of these holes in the side of the ship that have been worn away with time and rust, this might be also a symbol for the church. And I look out on what the church's mission is, and I look out into the world, and other, other whole new vista emerges, looking out on the shore, and in the distance, the cliffs of Moher on the clear, clear coast. There's a world out there, and there's a mission there that the church is called to serve. And that's what we're about in the Society of Jesus. We don't want to focus just on the negative side. We don't want to just see all the difficulties that are there. We feel that we're called by Christ to go out and to preach the good news. The good news that God loves the world. God loves each one that's in it. And Jesus has been sent to share that love with us. And that's what we're about. Is that the church is going through at the moment evoke two responses of me. One is I want to get off the ship. The second one is I want to save the ship. I want to be of service to it. Not because of the ship itself, but because of what it offers to people. A way of getting from one shore to another. I don't know how you view the crisis in the church. But maybe something is emerging in you that wants to help wants to offer yourself and your gifts to the restoration of that church. The church is wounded, is shipwrecked, needs to be rebuilt, to be put afloat again. I'm sure God is calling through that situation. Jesus himself knows the apostles in disarray in the storm. They're on the boat and they're terrified. And they say, see Jesus walking across the water towards them. They don't know what to do and in one of the accounts he comes aboard with them and they reach the land safely and quickly. In another one he stands up and rebukes the sea and the waves and they're amazed at him and they see his relationship with his father, with the Lord of the universe. In fact they see that he is the Christ. At this time, it might be something that's happening in you, a desire to serve, a desire to save, a desire to be at the disposable of pe people uh, so that they might come to know God and to know God's love for them.